are dropping hash rate. Bitcoin hash rate is down 15% since June 15th, the steepest drop in three years. So Bitcoin's hash rate saw its most dramatic fall of the last three years between June 15th and Tuesday, according to blockchain.com data. Bitcoin's hash rate decreased from nearly 943.6 billion terahashes per second on June 15th to 799 terahashes on Tuesday, a decline of more than 15%. And I'm actually going to go over here and check out mining pool stats and see what we're at now. It's showing a recovery. I don't know how accurate this is in general. The network hash rate showing one Zeta hash. So maybe after people saw the uh, the improvement in profitability along with you know the price bump up, they turned back on or we were seeing effectively some large miners curtailing all at the same time. That's hard to tell exactly what happened here because obviously 15% is a large drop. The sharp drop has fueled speculation about possible geopolitical and environmental causes. As someone mentioned in chat, of course, a bit's be trip and had mentioned the war in Iran affecting this. While the reason behind the sudden downturn is not yet confirmed, many in the crypto community are pointing to the Iran to Iran as the cause, like I just mentioned. Iran is known to run large-scale Bitcoin mining operations in the country. The National Council of Resistance of Iran reported in late May that large cryptocurrency mining operations run or protected by Iranian state actors, especially the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, are partly to blame for local power outages. While this makes an Iran connection plausible, closer scrutiny raises some doubts about the theory. The Iranian government imposed a near total internet blackout out on Friday to protect itself from cyber attacks, TechCrunch reported. This coincided with the global hash rate falling from 884.6 million to 865 terahash a second on Friday. This represented a 2.2% decline. So that means that if we were expecting Iran to have a significant impact, it would be 2% um, because there was a total internet blackout and that was the result on the network, meaning 15% is way above that. That would also mean that, I mean, and I hate to say it, but this would mean in general, from a numbers perspective, Bitsby Trippin's theory about Iran impacting, you know, the Bitcoin hash rate significantly would be false um, just from what we know, right? So essentially, effectively, what I'm saying is that, um, 2% isn't going to be enough to impact hash rate significantly, at least in, as far as I can tell. So this was followed by a U.S. strike on Iranian nuclear facilities on Sunday, which, according to Reuters, also led to electrical grid outages. This coincided with a 1% fall in global hash rate from 869 to 860. So that means only a little over 3% of the total hash rate decrease coincided precisely with the recent events in Iran. Furthermore, the hash rate fell by over 6.25% from June 15th until Thursday before Iran was bombed by U.S. or imposed an internet blackout. This data shows that the hash rate was already on a steep decline before the events and the ongoing fall is simply a continuation of a trend that may be exacerbated by, by events in Iran, but not directly Iran mining, right? So other factors that are likely playing a role are rising electricity prices, obviously like we've talked about, and the ongoing heat wave in the United States, obviously a big thing that I've talked about on this channel too. We even said at the beginning of this show, the heat wave results in lower mining efficiency, which might prompt low profit mining facilities to shut down. Heat waves also lead to higher power demands and higher power prices, further reducing Bitcoin mining profitability. It also leads to more curtailment requests from power co-ops and companies. New York-based utility Cone Edison recently asked customers to conserve energy during the ongoing heat wave, which boosted power prices in some regions to their high 
highest since January. Still, Bitcoin's network hash rate is not directly measured. It is instead calculated based on block time and current mining difficulty. This possible this is possible because mining difficulties provides information on how much computing power on average is needed to find a valid block since the computing requirement is an average in real world real world mining has significant variations based on pure chance. This calculation of hash rate is imprecise. The Iran theory cannot be dismissed, though. Some market observers suggest a combination of geopolitical, environmental, and economic pressures are at play. So, um, just looking around, which is IoT, says getting internet access in the Middle East is very difficult for miners. We tried for years to find affordable virtual machine for stratum in the Middle East. Yeah, and uh, they're very government regulated, right? And government controlled. And the government can basically turn off your internet and your power at any time. So, it's probably not a fantastic place. Let's see if we can move this a little bit over. I guess I bumped it. Sorry about that, guys. Now you can see my my bald head a little bit better. Um, I think overall, obviously, there's a lot going on when it comes to mining right now. Profitability is at an all-time low. Energy cost is at an all-time high. Miners' influence and the power law is waning and beginning to show cracks meaning that like effectively miners just don't control the price of cryptocurrency as much as they have in previous cycles. And I think that that is significantly impacting the ability for one, the excitement surrounding cryptocurrency to go up because what we're seeing is if is, is effectively a failure of the original premise. Right. And, and, I, I hate to say that because like obviously on this channel, I've been extremely excited about cryptocurrency, the premise of the power law, the influence of mining, the value of cryptocurrency coming from the energy used to produce it, all of these things. And I still like, there is still an impact of energy cost on mining, but it's not impacting the price of Bitcoin to the level where you would have expected. And we're just seeing a lot of other stuff happening too. So I think at the end of the day, um, I think mining, the mining industry is in, in pretty dire straits as it were. Um, and I think it's going to, probably get worse before it gets better. There's this idea that I've talked about in the past, right? Where like a certain amount of people have to get out before the good comes. Like you have this capitulation period and it happens in every cycle, right? Where there's a certain amount of the population invested in anything that has to quit, leave, uh, liquidate, et cetera, before prices can, can, can go back up. Right. And I think right now, um, in, I think right now what we're seeing is that more people held on for a longer time than previous cycles. And because of that, and everybody trying to capitalize on this having cycle all at the same time, it's like, there's too many people still invested and so I think you what it, what's happening is like basically pe miners are going to have to fall off. It's going to make other miners that are able to stay in business even more profitable, right? And then there'll be a more in, more impact on price. But until that happens, I think we'll still just move sideways um, as we have been. There's hope, you know, that the traditional cycle will continue in October. We'll go up to 200k and beyond. And then, you know, we'll get ready for another bear market. I really have no idea. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting to see the shift in power going from the hands of the miners to the people that own Bitcoin. Um, and some people could say that that's a positive. So I think in general, um, it's really up to you. But uh, yeah, summer's going to be tough. I think we will see fluctuations in the Bitcoin hash rate pretty significantly. And you can kind of even see like, it does look like those hash rates were dropping on June 23rd and 24th. 
Um, and when was the bombing of Iran? Should I search that? Would that be correctly searched? Uh, U.S. What was the date? I forgot what date that was. Uh, 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 will they give me a date here? It's so hard to find exactly what you want sometimes, huh? I mean, we've done it a lot, but I mean recently. That was the 13th of June. That's what it says. No, that was on June 22nd. There we go. So, I guess that would align still. That dip in hash rate would align with that because it would be the 22nd. But this was that Friday, June 20th they're talking about where we had that 3% dip. And then we had that big 15% dip. Anyways. Crazy. Dreading July and August. Retro says it was 105 degrees here yesterday. The only thing I have on right now are the FPGAs. I'm dreading July and August. I hear you, sir. Make sure you guys go sub to Retro too, by the way. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. If you'd like to see more from this particular episode, take a look up here. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me directly, you can go to sonofatech.locals.com and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.